The new solar panels are finally here, and soon this street will be producing its very own power. Residents in East London's Linmouth Road spent more than two years working for this moment and convincing their neighbours to get on board. Today their dream is becoming reality. The pressure of saying something's going to happen and having like power station posters up in windows. So this first moment of seeing it come to reality, yeah, it is a, it's kind of a relief. It's joyful. We wanted the whole street to basically get the solar panels. That was our goal. We soon realised that wasn't going to happen, like it was going to be really difficult actually to, to even persuade anyone at first. Artists Hilary Powell and Dan Edelstein came up with the idea. Originally they'd hoped to get the entire street linked into a grid, but some of the roofs aren't suited to solar panels and some neighbours haven't yet warmed up to the idea. 25 households on Linmouth Road are on board, however. I think across Britain there are millions and millions of people who want to solve and, and put money into the climate crisis. If you can offer a direct action solution for it, which is what we've kind of created here, then it kind of floats quite well with the general public. Given the economic crisis in the country, not everyone could afford to sign up. That's why the two artists launched a fundraising campaign that raised over £100,000. They even spent several weeks during the winter living on their roof and filmed it as a crowdfunder. We wanted to make this street as the locus of a story, but also as a kind of experiment, prototype, test, pilot thing that could help other streets kind of move quickly to act. And that's taken lots of, you know, ideas and failed attempts to find a model that would work. The activists say the government should support innovative ecological projects like theirs to help tackle the climate crisis. We need large pots of money which make it really absurdly easy for people to get match funding or to get properly subsidised to, to turn their buildings, their houses or their businesses into power stations. Does anyone know where Tom is at the moment, by the way? Hilary Powell and Dan Edelstein are filming the installation of the solar panels. The first step on the path to a solar road. Their neighbour Angela hopes the solar panels will help slash her energy bills. The panels on the roof is going to be much better for the planet if we can if they can keep going and achieving. And once people see this happening, you know, it's only a start. It, it, it is really only a start. And of course, cheaper bills. For now. These solar-powered homes are still a rarity here. Their partner, a major British energy company, says they're pioneers. Here in the UK, we've got pretty much like the, one of the most outdated grid systems. So it's really reliant on fossil fuels. So at peak time, so let's say six o'clock when people come home and they want to cook their dinners, there's about a few hundred different generators that are required by the grid to dial up that demand. What that does is it creates this horrible kind of pollution and of course it's really expensive. On sunny days, London's solar pioneers can even produce surplus energy that can be fed into the grid. Instead of going for that fossil fuel network, what we're championing is decentralising that grid and instead having thousands of different renewable energy assets that themselves control the grid and create that flexibility. From now on, meals like this will be cooked with power that comes straight from their own roof. When the rest of the street see the first 10, 20 houses getting the solar panels and they see that, you know, that it's, it's a viable idea and that it's not harebrained and just a couple of artists coming up with a totally pie-in-the-sky idea, hopefully uh, more people will want to do it. And then we're also hoping that we can save money overall by doing bulk buying and stuff like that so that other streets can also get involved. Hilary Powell and Dan Edelstein hope this will be just the beginning. Their dream is power to the people, everywhere in the city.